pizza jokes were fun while they lasted, boys. Ah, unlucky, unlucky. Unlucky, unlucky. Aye, I was confident going into tonight. I said it would go to penalties, but I said we'd win it, and we didn't. Oh well. At least now we can focus on the league. That's all. That's all there, uh, there really is to say. Anyway, the team for us tonight, Grant McCann made six changes from the weekend. It was Matt Ingram in goal, coming in place of George Longer, back forward, Josh Emmanuel, Rhys Burke, Sean McLaughlin and Callum Elder. Smallwood, Slater and Doherty were in midfield three, with Crowley and Lewis Potter, the two wingers. Josh McGuinness led the line. The bench was George Long, Louis Coyle, James Scott, Jordan Flores, Thomas Mayer, Max Clark and Billy Chadwick. Uh, Lincoln, they only named four substitutes. So this is, so their team's going to be a bit shorter than ours. Um, they had Palmer in goal, a back four of Ioma, Monsma, Walsh and Eden with Grant, Herworth Ho and um, Jones in midfield three. Johnson and Anderson were the two wingers with uh, Scully up top. The bench was Long, Jackson, Hooper and Ruin. Um, in the sixth minute, Lincoln led um, Scully down the right, played a slow ball across the box, across the box to Harry Anderson, who, pull, who at the, he's at the near post, he puts the ball across the body of Matt Ingram towards the far post and it goes in. The pitch was awful. In, in, in case you don't live in Hull and surrounding areas or whatever, it's, um, to put it short, been pissing it down all night and all day. From last night uh, on the on the Monday into today, it's not stopped raining at my house all day. And I live at the KCOM, so <laughs> little do you know, I'm just sat in one of the bloody boxes. I've had Ehab decorate it for me, but it only paid 10% of the price. So I ended up paying 10 grand to have this all decorated into my bedroom. He paid a quid. Um, I'm joking, obviously. Anyway, ninth minute, Doherty fired over. 13th minute, City gave away a sloppy corner. Uh, Smallwood played a pass back to Burke, and because the surface was so slippy, he couldn't catch up to the ball. Lincoln took it quickly to catch us off guard. It found its way to, jo to uh, James Jones, about 30 yards from goal. His shot is venomous, and it looks as though it flies into Ingram's top left-hand corner, but instead it flies just wide. Um, 20 minutes In the 20th minute, a good bit of play led to Crowley getting a shot off that bent, that bent just past the post. Um, McGuinness headed the ball down to KLP on the halfway line. Keno drove past Walsh, but his shot was saved really well by Alex Palmer. 26th minute, Burke made a mistake which allowed Johnson to break down the imp's left-hand side. He takes a heavy touch which allowed Ingram to slide out on the slippy surface and collect the ball. And we went in at the break, 1-0 down. 48th minute, we had a massive chance. Somehow McGuinness and Doherty are denied from close range. It was bouncing about all over the gaff. I don't know how Do I don't know how McGuinness wasn't offside, but he wasn't. And we wasted the following corner. Crowley did a Jared Bowen and put it right at the front post. Cool. Um... 59th minute though, we were level through the dock. Greg Doherty received the ball from McGuinness, 35 yards from goal. Doherty charged past the entire Lincoln side and finished it into the bottom corner. 60th minute though, straight after, Regan Slater and Josh McGuinness came off. Chadwick and Scott came on. Um, Slater didn't really do much. He was a bit of a passenger in the game. He could never really get a foot on the ball. And Josh McGuinness, all night, all he was doing was doing a Tom Eaves and just backing into strikers like this. And then either trying to turn them, which obviously isn't going to work because he's got the footballing ability of my photo frame that's up there. And second of all... Cheers, Dad. Don't tell me that was Mum's. <laughs> nice interruption, pal. Anyway... And uh, yeah, and he was either trying to turn him, which doesn't work, and or trying to play a ball back, but he'd held the ball up for too long, so all the passing lanes were cut off. Anyway, 63rd minute, Herworth came off for Hopper. 67th minute, we came close again. KLP nearly bent one into the top right corner, but it sails just wide. Uh, 74th minute, Ioma shot over for Lincoln. 
75th minute, Dan Crowley came off for Jordan Flores. Flores was getting right stuck in. But, um, yeah, Crowley just tired himself out by the end. It, it was just fatigue, which affected decision-making and things like that. Uh, 87th minute, Chadwick got the ball from a lucky bounce and his shot clipped the side netting. And in the 88th minute, Keane Lewis Potter, well, he was in the middle of the box. I think it was Elder who crossed it in. And it just got stuck underneath his feet, so he couldn't get a shot off. So unlucky. And with that, it went to penalties. Uh, our game was the last to kick off. So we knew that if we won, we would join Sunderland, Oxford and Tranmere in the hat for the semi-final. MK Dons lost 3-0 to Sunderland. Oxford travelled to AFC Wimbledon and won 3-1. AFC Wimbledon close to a point in the first ever female manager in men's football. That's massive. Massive for the sport. And uh, Tranmere pulled off the shock of the evening beat Peterborough 2-1 at their own gaff. Um, as for penalties, Lincoln took first at the south stand end. By this point, the pitch was absolutely horrendous. Both ends were quite bad, but the south stand end was better. My end, let's go. If I was there, I'd have had me, I'd have had me, I'd have, I'd have had me phone out filming every last bit. But I wasn't. Jones stepped up first for Lincoln and he scored it. Richie Smallwood, who had a shocking game. He should have been brought off at half-time for Clark or, um, or for Flores. He had an absolute stinker. Um, he missed. It was easy save, really, for Palmer. Then Monsma missed. Scott missed. Anderson fluffed one over the bar. Then Billy Chadwick finally scored and we made it 1-1. Um, Scully then scored, then KLP scored, then Grant scored, then Elder scored, the penalty of the bunch. Then Johnson scored as it entered sudden death. And it was up to Jordan Flores. I had faith. My dad didn't. If you watched my Instagram live, you'd have known that. And... Um, Flores missed it. Anyway, yeah. Individually tonight, then. Ingram was all right. Elder was very good. Burke was poor. McLaughlin was all right. Emmanuel didn't look his normal self. Didn't get forward enough. There was so the, by the end, by the last half an hour, the the part of the pitch where he normally should be running onto, running into, was the best part. But we still used the middle because he wasn't getting forward. What was going on? Uh, Smallwood had a stinker. Slater was a passenger. Doherty was man of the match for me. Um, Crowley was very good. He was always trying to create stuff. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. Man United have just gone 7-0 up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, Lewis Potter was good. Um, McGuinness was tripe as always. Players that came off the bench, Scott didn't do much. Flores didn't do much. Um, Billy Chadwick was pretty all right. Um... Yeah, I, I I said this during the game loads to my dad. I'd rather us lose this one than lose the one next week because the next week, the next the one next week, this time next week in the league, one the pitch should be better because he's had a week to recover from this mauling. The groundsman sat there with his head in his hands like this. He's he's rocking up and down like this. He don't know what to do. Bless him. He's he's that much of a state. Um. Yeah. Anyway, we're out the Papa John's. Oh, well. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a very good night. I'll see you later. Man United have just gone 8-0 up. Jesus Christ. See you later, everyone. Goodbye.